A controversial brand of alcohol is sparking debate in states across the U.S. this morning. It's a powder known as palcohol. When mixed with water, it creates an instant cocktail. The federal government has approved palcohol, but more than a dozen states have banned it or are considering bans. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. And now Senator Chuck Schumer is going to introduce a bill later today that would ban it nationwide. But Palcohol's creator, who spoke only with CBS this morning, says those fears are wildly overblown and that his opponents could maybe use a good stiff drink. Just add water and shake. It's as simple as that. 30 seconds later, the powdered alcohol is a cocktail ready to drink. And there you go. You have liquid vodka. Alcohol is the brainchild of Mark Phillips, who often enjoyed an adult beverage after outdoor activities, but found carrying bottles too burdensome. If they're an outdoor enthusiast and they're going hiking, backpacking, biking, kayaking, boating, anywhere where weight is an issue, uh, having powdered alcohol is a lot lighter than liquid alcohol. So far, four varieties have won government approval. Rum, vodka, cosmopolitan, and powderita, similar to a margarita. Each pouch is roughly equivalent to one mixed drink. Phillips is tight-lipped about the price. It'll be sold in stores, and we expect it to be sold online also. The company that makes this bad, bad product is... New York Senator Chuck Schumer is a alcohol prohibitionist. He wants to make it a crime to make, sell, distribute, or possess it. When you drink regular alcohol, beer, wine, hard liquor, it's in liquid form. You can't ingest that much that quickly. But when it's in powdered form, you can ingest a whole lot and do real damage to yourself. Critics also worry powdered alcohol could be used to spike drinks or even snorted for a quicker buzz. Phillips dismisses those fears. It really burns to snort it. Really uncomfortable because it's alcohol, as you would if you sniffed liquid vodka. It would burn like crazy. There's nothing pleasant about it. Phillips adds each vodka packet contains enough alcohol to fill only one shot glass, and it would take an hour to snort it all. He thinks his opponents should just put a cork in it. Why do we want big government telling us what we can drink and what we can't drink? We don't need a nanny government telling us to what we can do. Schumer insists powdered alcohol is more dangerous than regular alcohol. Some of the companies that have advertised this have advertised it directly to kids, have advertised it in ways that uh, don't have any, any intent other than to have people ingest a whole lot of alcohol quickly, and that can be dangerous. Now, Phillips says he expects approval for a fifth alcohol flavor next week, Lemon Drop, and he hopes to have these packets available on store shelves this summer. Gail? All right, Jan. I think the audience will decide. Yeah. Scary, though. And for some people. I think mm -hmm. the, the convenience may, may outweigh everything. We'll see. Thank you, Jan.